Where am I? What's happening? I'm trapped in a storm. How did I get here? And where is here? Wait, there's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. So surreal. Famously called film Little Pieces of Time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. These I'm in class. Everything's us. cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black? I didn't and white? fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her image. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Just of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. I can't believe I still have this pencil case. Torture, I should upgrade right? to the 21st century. And frankly, it's bullshit. But I like it old school. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, I haven't though, kept up with my I'm journal as much as I should. And capture you in a moment of if anybody else looked at this, what would they think?
desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. My little camera bag is battered, but still kicking. Too obvious? What if Arbus chose to capture people at the height? I do love my analog camera. I should take a quick picture now. So, she could have taken another approach. I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of her work. I prefer Robert Fr shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? You're asking me? L let me think. Um... You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock. God, I'm such a photo nerd. I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. When I don't suck. Someday. Obviously Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. I also want everybody to know that this photographic world is not Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. Oh. Hi, Kate. I only want oh. To share whatever Hi, Max. Kate, I, I hope I didn't embarrass you with my lame answer. It sucks to be dragged into the spotlight. Unless you're Victoria. She's got nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get going. Yeah, me too. Talk to you later. Sure. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. Huh, this might make a cool shot. Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. So cool to see Mr. Jefferson's actual published pictures. Gives me hope. 
This is definitely where cameras go to heaven. Oh man, they have those sweet ultrasonic lenses. And look at that vintage rangefinder. What? Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images. But I still dig my little instant camera. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. So cool that we can check these out anytime. The Decisive Moment by Henri Cartier-Bresson? That's rare. Annie Leibovitz, mad respect. The amazing Eugene Smith? Good to see Avedon among the masters. Dolly, of course. Lots of people I haven't heard of yet. I guess that's why I'm here. Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I'm not paying a You always Welcome to the cute. real world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture of Jerry They're just getting ready. Because Max wants everybody to see how cute she is. She plays it so shy. <laughs> I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class, it's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. I think that's Courtney. She's such a slave to Taylor and Victoria. There's Taylor, always waiting for Victoria. <laughs> These missing persons posters are popping up everywhere. I shouldn't be so stingy with my blood. <laughs> Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. I hate having everybody see inside my locker. 
I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous, as usual. Yes, this poster must stop bullies dead in their tracks. That's Dana talking to... I think his name is Justin. Dana is on my floor, too. She's such an archetypal, gorgeous cheerleader. They must make them in a factory. Stella is always deep in her notes. She didn't come to Blackwell to mess around. Poor Daniel, he's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. It looks like she's been gone for months. Don't need a PC, missed the Poetry Jam tryouts, and I did not steal that backpack. That's so messed up. I should contact them to find out what I can do. As if I am. I wonder what actually happened to her. Good thing I left my AK at home. They should just call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. You can never have enough ghosts and skeletons in the hall. Principal doesn't come out of his office much. Rachel Amber, she's so pretty. I hate these posters, so sad. Miss Grant is a great science teacher. How many students ever actually memorize all this shit? I guess we all should these days. There's the lighthouse again. Yay, Halloween, my favorite time of year. The Bigfoot stomp. I should develop some school spirit. Go team. He's cute. I like skater boys. Too bad they don't like me. God, Samuel is such a weirdo. But I kind of like that about him. You can really learn a lot about a school by the weird shit posted on the boards. Look at these trophies. Gotta give it up for those Bigfoots. They do stomp. Blackwell sure takes its swimming seriously. But otters are cute. Go otters. Figures Juliet would be dating Zachary. Jocks sucked up in the Vortex Club. There's Juliet from my dorm. Yet another Vortex Club disciple. I wonder what actually happened to her. Nerd alert, this poster has Warren written all over it. These missing persons posters are popping up everywhere. There's Hayden, another Vortex Club bro, but he's actually not an ass. 
Oh, I can hardly wait to never be too cool like Nathan and Victoria. Lame. It looks like she's been gone for months. Empty, good. Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. <sighs> now who would bother to write that crap? I remember when somebody punked the alarm last month. At least I got out of science class for that quiz. This poster must drive people to have sex. I'm good to flow, thanks. The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? Just relax, stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Where did that butterfly come from? It doesn't look like any kind I've ever seen before. The blue wings are practically glowing. I, I can almost feel the air moving around me. The butterfly feels almost like a spirit. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. 
That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where did you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa! What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. These pieces of time can frame us I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color to Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, Shit. can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer I cannot who believe this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Diane. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? I did it. Can you give me I actually an did it. A photographer who perfectly captured human the human time condition machine. in black and white. Anybody? Bueller? Max, don't Diane freak out. Arvis. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? My pencil case is because still on. Keep it together, Max. Places. You feel like totally haunted by still the Still the same stupid picture. When I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. Tortured, right? If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Keep that to yourself. Damn it, everything is the same. Though. I could frame any one of you in a What dark is going on? Room. Nothing has moved at all. Desperation. Still the same stupid picture. Could do that to me. So everything seems the same as before. Isn't that too easy? My pencil case is too still obvious. in the same place. What if Arbus chose to capture Bowser, my old broken camera is new again. She had a brilliant eye. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? So, she could have taken another approach. I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of her work. I prefer Robert Frank. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. As you all know, the it's real. Has been I can since tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl so, isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can I save that her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not gonna get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me Louis after class. Was a French painter. And I need you time to save that girl. Types? A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. <laughs> what if I rewind the again Bagarian process and give him the right answer? Out fine detail in people's faces making them extremely popular from the 1800s. Wowzer, my old broken camera is new again. Well, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly won- The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named 
Louise de Guerre, around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an Everyday Hero. That's not as interesting as that girl about to die. You don't have time to gaze. Get out of here. That girl is going to get shot unless you go. There's no time to fuck around here. Wowzer, you are blowing it. Save that girl. Kate probably wouldn't laugh at me, but how can I ask her about what's going on? Nice answer, Max. Are you okay? You look pale. Kate, uh, did we talk at all today? This is the first time. What's wrong? I'm sorry, I'm just tripping. Too much stress. I know the feeling. I wish we didn't. I do have to go, but we can talk later if you want. I'll see how I feel. Thanks, Max. What are you waiting for? Go! Stop wasting time. Go. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. That girl needs your help now. You better get to that bathroom. How long are you going to stall? Move. That girl needs your help now. If I want to be an everyday hero, I better go save that girl. Stop this bullshit and go save that girl. That girl is going to get shot unless you go. There's no time to fuck around here. Get going, Max. You don't have time. Victoria hasn't moved from that spot. I wish I could go talk to Mr. Jefferson about what's going on, but I can't. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Uh, yeah, I I'm not sure I have one. Given your selfie output, I'm sure you must have about a thousand pics by now. It'll take a long time to find a good one. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I? Photography's future star. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Because Max wants everything. They have no idea what's going on with me, and I can't tell them anything. She's so stop staring and go. I have to stop screwing around and get to the bathroom. If I don't hurry to that bathroom, another girl will be in trouble. You don't have time to gaze. Get out of here. Forget about them and go before that girl dies. Nobody here can help you. Move. That girl is going to get shot unless you go. Get my education on. Get going, Max. You don't have time. How can everybody look so calm when I feel so stressed? God, I wish I could talk to somebody about this. 
But everyone would think I'm nuts. Forget you owe us cash. I forgot for what. For making sure nobody kicks Stella your ass. is still there with her nuts. Quick, move, Max. Seriously. Daniel is getting bullied all over him again. I hope he doesn't remember. No. You I'm can't help me at I'm all, just trying Logan. To go to class. Brooke has no idea of the shit going on right now. If I don't hurry to that bathroom, another girl will stop this bullshit and go save that girl. How long are you going to stall? Move! That girl needs your help now. What are you waiting for? Go! Stop wasting time. Go! What are you doing? Get to the bathroom. Miss Grant can't help me now. If I don't hurry to that bathroom, another girl will be in tr- There's no time to fuck around here! Wowzer, you are blowing it! Save that girl! Everybody is in the same place as they were before. I do need to hurry. I can't talk to Samuel about this, even if he might believe me. No, Max, they can't save that girl in the bathroom. Nobody here can help you. Move! Why look at him? He can't help you. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down! Tell me what to do! Wow, sir, so it's so happening sick. again. But people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody I need a hammer to break it open. Miss your punk ass, would they? Keep that gun away from me, psycho! Oh. Holy shit, I can't let this happen. No. If I can reverse time no, no, again, no, no, I can no. help her. I guess would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh, shit! No, 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 There's no, the no, hammer. No. Now I can break this goddamn glass. Away from me, psycho! We're trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! I need a hammer to break it open. Shit! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Principal Wells always looks so distracted. I can never figure out what he's thinking. Does he- You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm- I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be upfront with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just got sick in class. Um, 
female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's Just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that team toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with class. Please. No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Yes, I could rewind and actually tell him the truth. Principal Wells always looks so distracted. I can never figure out what he's thinking. Does he hate me? Don't wander around here. Get on outside. You look a little stressed out. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know, I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story?